Greetings internet, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. This is going to be a few days in my life. I'm pretty sure I think I'm gonna do the next few days. Just group a lot of footage together and put it in one fabulous vlog. The theme of this vlog, if you will, is just getting my life together, feeling productive, getting organized. But anyway, right now it is morning time. I made my bed. I got ready for the day. I'm now squeezing in a bit of therapy before I get going with the day's events. You guys know I've been using BetterHelp for some time now. I started therapy back in 2020 and I discovered BetterHelp about a year ago. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp and I'm so grateful for the sponsorship because I genuinely have used BetterHelp and have really benefited from the process of it. I love that it really is what you want it to be. It causes me a lot of stress to see someone face to face or like even virtually face to face. So I really love the live chat only therapy session options. Very, very good. It's much cheaper than in-person therapy and you can be connected with a therapist in under 48 hours. So definitely check out the link below. I love BetterHelp. It's a super easy process. You just fill out a questionnaire to get started and you're matched with someone. If you're feeling burnt out, stressed or lost, Lost, highly recommend just talking to someone. I know it's hard to bite the bullet and get started. Believe me, I've been there. I thought I could just offer everything that I need for myself and I don't need help. But sometimes you have to admit that you do need help. You do need a sounding board and someone to talk to and just someone to remind you that you're human and it's okay and you shouldn't be feeling crazy for the way that you feel and the way that you react to things because you know it is very human to feel and you shouldn't lose that, but it is nice to have someone to talk to when you're going through hard times. So highly recommend BetterHelp. Check it out, I'll have a link down below. You guys can get started. Like I said, I personally use it and it's just so easy. Like I'm just gonna knock out therapy and get on with my day. All right, everyone, today is the day. Today's the day that I finally get things back to normal in here. My apartment has been an absolute disaster all summer long. And finally, I'm sitting here in August. I've been working towards this day for weeks, like finally just clearing my schedule for one day, this random Thursday, where I've done enough work this week so that I can take today and just clean. Because every time the weekend rolls around, I think, oh, you know, I'll dedicate Sunday and I'll clean my apartment on Sunday and then I'm either just exhausted from whatever I've done on Saturday or I just like don't feel like it and I want to do nothing, which I love doing nothing on Sunday. And cleaning is not nothing. Cleaning is exhausting. It is, it just, you know, it really takes it out of you. But after when you step back and see what you've cleaned, it just makes you feel so, so, so good. So I am chasing that feeling today. I'm so excited to finally just get things back to where it should be in here. And I am dedicated to the task of cleaning this apartment. You might think a small New York City apartment, it won't take that long to clean it, but I have a feeling it's gonna take me all day. So I'm gonna bring you guys along on the journey of just like getting my life back to where it needs to be. So classically, I have not unpacked yet from my Nantucket trip. So that has to happen. And then I have to tackle the washer dryer, folding all of this, loading all of this into there and dealing with all of this stuff, figuring out what I need to dry clean. Then there's stuff like all over my chair, obviously, because I just throw things there. So I have to deal with all that. The shelves have gotten a bit cluttered. I don't even know what this is right here. Like I have so many suitcases just lying around and I need to find a spot for them. So that is something. Then just, you know, there's just stuff everywhere. So I'm just gonna pick up around here, vacuum, clean my floors. My floors are pretty disgusting right now. So we're gonna clean my floors. Um, deal with some PR packages that are just like randomly lying around. Behind my hand, I have a bunch of PR packages that very, very vividly show my address, which is why I am <laughs> covering it. So I have to deal with all of this over here. My closet's actually like kind of okay because I just did a big um, clean out before I went on my trip and I donated a ton of stuff. I sold a bunch of stuff. So that's kind of taken care of. But I think the biggest undertaking is going to be the bathroom because I have just like quite a few things everywhere. A lot of this stuff that I have out, I don't even use. 
which is the crazy part. And you might see over there, I have like a toothpaste um, that is like disgusting because it exploded in my suitcase. So I have to deal with that, figure out where to put all of this stuff so it doesn't look like this anymore. And my shower, I haven't cleaned out my shower in so long. Anyway, so this is kind of an overview. Like what is going on here? I don't even know. An overview of the before of the apartment before I transform this space. A little while later I have been cleaning all afternoon I feel so good about it I'm about to load up my Swiffer <laughs> because I love my black floors so much I think it adds so much to this apartment but they're so hard to keep clean I find myself sweeping vacuuming and using these like 
Swiffers every other week just because like every little smudge the winter's the worst with like salt on the ground and stuff because every little smudge is picked up like I had a little party a few weeks ago and someone put down a red solo cup like on the ground and there's just like a ring on the ground from where it was <laughs> like I'll show you guys I'm about to just like go hard with this I usually go through a few of them I have like the massive supply of these things because it takes a few to get through the whole apartment that's why it's crucial to have rugs down i almost like want to get a larger rug in the apartment so it covers more of the ground so i don't have to swiffer as much but this like let me show you like right down here you can see where one of my friends like put down a cup on the ground and it like picks it up and every little piece of dust, every little floater is just shown on the ground. But I still do love the black floors. I think it it's worth the extra effort that I have to go through, but. I usually start at the door with my Swiffer and like work my way all the way out here. All right, guys, so after almost, I wanna say four hours of cleaning, <laughs> my apartment is looking so much better. It just like feels better. I know it wasn't like terrible before. I still have a little bit of work to do, but it's looking so much better. The floors are clean. There's not dust everywhere. I've dusted every single surface possible and everything is in its place. The laundry is done. I'm feeling so good about my day, honestly. But my bathroom is as organized as it's going to get for now. I mean, my makeup wipes like could look nicer. And my, of course, my towels are like wrinkly from the dryer. One issue I have is bathrobes. I need to get a hook for the back of my door because right now I just like put them over my shower when I'm not using them. And then when I'm in the shower, I like put them on a chair and then I put them back. Like it's just a whole process. I need to get like a hook you guys have recommendations because I think I can just put it on the back of this door here so that's a process that we're going to embark on soon but I have like my skincare here and then yeah this is definitely in need of some further organization but for now at least I use all of this stuff or like I have used it recently <laughs> so I got rid of a bunch of empties in my shower and just kept the stuff that actually still has product in it and I'm realizing from this, I need to repurchase a few things that I really do need more of because I just got rid of some empties and I'm like, oh, sad, I wanna use that again. So I'm gonna have to buy some new hair products. But this is what I have left. So while I was cleaning, I was listening to a few different podcasts that I always listen to, but I just put on this playlist that I made. I wanna say this was like a few falls ago, like when I was still working at L'Oreal, I think I made this, so like probably three years ago and it's called First Breaths of Fall. And it's just a cute little playlist of like fall themed or just like easy listening songs. And I love it, I listen to it every single fall and I know it's not fall yet, I know it's still summer, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of ready. Like, give me a pumpkin spice latte. There I said it, give me a pumpkin spice latte. And I'd be fine with that. Anyway, so cleaning is done. Now I'm going to open up my laptop again and just like do a little bit more work. I did some this morning, but not nearly enough. So we're gonna get back into that. Then we're gonna record Match Me in Manhattan later. And then I'm going to bed. I'm already ready. I'm tired. It's been a, a day. Like cleaning really does take it out of you. Good morning, guys. So I totally messed up. I meant to grab a few clips last night while we were recording the podcast, but I forgot. <laughs> so it's a new day. Good morning. I am trying to figure out where to put you down. So I'm all ready to go see my trainer Jane this morning. It's Friday, so it's Danielle and I working out together this morning, which I'm excited about. Can't wait. I am feeling extremely sore from my other workouts this week, so I'm hoping it's not too intense, but one last session before I go away and travel a bunch next week, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm just wearing this set from 
Bandier. It's the Something Navy and Bandier collab. So yeah, hair tied back. And then after my workout, I'm so excited. I'm finally getting my hair done. It's been a while since I've had a nice root touch up um, and a little trim. So stay tuned for a bit of a hair transformation. And yeah, let's go work out. I just came from my workout, so my hair is just a little bit greasy, but I am going to get my hair done, so that's great. <laughs> Don't really need amazing hair to go in and get your hair done. It's only just gonna get dyed and washed and cut and all those things, but um, I have heard it said that like going into the hairdresser when you're getting color done with dirty hair isn't necessarily what you're supposed to do. But honestly, I've heard it both ways. Like you should go with either like clean hair or like second day hair, or I don't even know. Someone who does hair, please let me know in the comments. But I'm just gonna put my hair up into a bun right now, walk over. I think my goal, actually I'll show you before so you guys can get it locked in your brains what my hair looks like before I'm getting it done. So when I go in to get my hair done, I'm going to get just a little like gray touch up in my roots. Um, I only get like a strip of dye like right here and like a little bit under like she'll like scatter it where it's needed um, just because the grays like around my um, part are just like very distracting there might come a time where I embrace my gray hair and I just let it rage but not right now I kind of like just having like all one color so getting my natural color just like pulled in and then when it comes to the cut I think I'm gonna just have her cut it to my collarbone right here so like that much off so yeah going to get a cut I will update you guys afterwards on what it looks like and then the rest of the day I'm just working staying in tonight going to just relax my mind body and soul maybe read a book that reminds me I'm gonna bring my book with me to the hairdresser I'm reading the next or another Ellen Hildebrand book um, Golden Girl I am excited to see what I do to my hair <laughs> guys are you ready for the big reveal I'm like so excited. Revealing my haircut in three, two, one. I went shorter. Ugh. I don't know what sorcery they do over at Maven June, which is where I go here in the city. I see Sahar. I've seen her for like four years now, maybe longer than that. Actually, maybe longer than that. But she started this salon last, wait, maybe? Oh, they're coming up on their year anniversary. So she must have started it last year. Yeah, but she was at a different salon before and then she started her own salon called Maeve in June because her daughter's name is Maeve and Maeve was born in June. So she started her own salon and I love the hair. I'm just over the moon. I feel like this cut is just very me and I don't see myself having long hair again for a long time. I like just don't really see it in my, in my future. But she dyed my grays very nicely, all one color again. Nice and shiny. I think she did a an Olaplex treatment on me or something. She does this like um, smoothing treatment or like moisture treatment. But other than that, I just dyed like a strip up here and a little bit like, I think she went like here and around my face, just wherever the grays were creeping in, which is always like right where the new hair growth is. But everything else is just the same, but just a little shorter. So I like it. I think I started like here maybe, and now I'm here at the collarbone, but collarbone length is just the creme de la creme for me. So anyway, back in my apartment, just did two calls really quick, rapid fire, banged those out, and now I'm just getting some other work done, and I'm just really trying to, it's Friday, get all of my to-dos done today because this weekend I actually have a lot to do. I have a birthday party tomorrow, but I have a bunch of things to do before Monday because I'm essentially out of office Monday or I'm, I'm working remotely because I'll be on a brand trip in Montauk so I have to get a lot done this weekend I think I have to record a podcast ahead of next week because I won't have time next week so we have a lot going on um yeah but I actually realized I didn't even make my bed this morning because I was so I like got out the door so quickly and then like went right to my hair appointment and didn't have a, ch a second to and didn't have a chance to make my bed so I'm gonna do that So I actually got some things in from Fashion Pass. 
for a little trip I'm going on next week, so I thought I'd do a little try-on segment of this vlog. Show you guys some of the things on. I got a lot of colorful, summery stuff, so. Like, look at all of these colors already. So this is the first dress. It's this really fun, silky fabric with this floral pattern on it. And I love the cutouts right here. I'd say it's a mini length maybe, but like not too, too, too short or too long. Covers everything it needs to. Let me know which one is your favorite because I need to know. So this is the second one. I think that this is supposed to go like this. I really like it. It's like a color explosion. It has a nice like, what do you call this? Like cinchy sort of fabric and stitching in the back. So it really does fit perfectly with no gap. And this pattern is so pretty. This is from the brand Roll, Rollias, Rollias. And this one was the brand, where's the tag? Oh, Show Me Your Moo Moo. Obviously I like it then. Wow, I love Show Me Your Moo Moo. So these are all from Fashion Pass. So you can rent them. This isn't sponsored, but you can rent clothes from Fashion Pass. They're all like amazing brands and just like wear it to your event and give it back. You can't really see, but this one is a maxi. It goes all the way down. Okay, this one is a set and this is so me. I just like, I need to keep this forever because it's so cute. It has pockets. Show me your moo, moo set, nice full skirt. And this pattern is so dreamy. It's like painterly, like a Monet. I'm obsessed. Nice skinny strap, little set vibe. I love a set and the pockets, which I just can't get over. Like anytime anything has pockets, I will be letting you know that it has pockets because that's huge. So this is the next little fit I'm gonna bring to the Hamptons with me. Next. Okay, this one I got and I wasn't sure if this was gonna look right on me, so we will see. I need like more to fill this out, I think. I could be wrong though, maybe. It actually does look good, I'm not really sure. I think I might need to get a strapless bra of sorts to wear with this, or like I have one, but like put it on. <laughs> um, it has adjustable straps, so maybe I'll just go that route and like just adjust it higher here. I like that this side here is like adjustable, so if I wanted it lower, like a high side slit kind of freaks me out sometimes where you can like tie it tighter or make it looser. I don't know if I'll wear this one, I'm not really sure if I love it, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, the last one is this white, tight peplum bottom <laughs> number this one's fun it's definitely very tight but it fits and it does feel like it's going to stretch a little bit very tight on the asset i love the cutout here i love the one strap it's really flattering so this one might be a go the first night of the trip we're all going to surf lodge and wearing white that's like part of the brand trip color scheme so I'm excited to wear this first night. The peplum's gonna be cute. I just need to figure out what shoes, probably like a nude pair of heels or something with this. Love, love, love fashion house, definitely check it out. But anyway guys, I think that's where I'm gonna end the vlog. I've gotten a lot of fun content in here, a lot of fun self-care, cleaning, getting my life together content. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Like I said, I'm gonna be filming when I'm in Montauk next week. I'm also going on another trip next week to Puerto Rico. So a lot of fun things coming your way in terms of vlogs, I'm really, like on it right now with vlogs. I'm gonna keep the momentum going. So I'm very excited, but yeah guys, that's it for my vlog. Stay tuned for my next one.